For tonight's Green Report, we go to Japan, where radiation levels have spiked to an all-time high in the seawater surrounding Japan's crippled Fukushima nuclear power plant. Earlier this month, Tokyo Electric Power Company announced they had detected similar levels in groundwater at the plant, but say that the cause of this spike is still unknown. TEPCO has been trying to reduce contamination at the damaged nuclear site, but almost every week we hear of another leak, another spill, and radiation levels that keep rising. Officials plan to contain radiation with a huge underground ice wall around Fukushima, but Japan's Nuclear Regulatory Authority has not approved that plan because of concerns for public safety. In addition, international experts have expressed doubt over how effective such a plan would even be at protecting the public and keeping radiation out of the groundwater. TEPCO has proven that they are not capable of dealing with this massive problem. And the situation at Fukushima has gotten worse, not better. It's time for the international community to step in and prevent an even more serious disaster. Workers at Japan's crippled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant may soon begin creating a sunken wall of frozen soil. The aim is to prevent groundwater from becoming contaminated with radioactive material as it passes through the facility's grounds. Officials from the plant's operator, Tokyo Electric Power Company, provided details of the plant to Nuclear Regulation Authority officials. Commissioner Toyoshi Fuketa of the NRA suggested they will approve the project. Work on the frozen wall may begin as early as June. TEPCO plans to construct a frozen barrier around reactors number one, numbers 1 through 4. NRA officials requested that TEPCO assess how the ground structure could be affected by the wall. The utility was also asked to provide a backup plan for a possible failure. TEPCO explained that the reactor buildings would sink by less than government set limits for such facilities. The operator of the crippled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant has found the exact place where radioactive water is leaking at the number one reactor. Tokyo Electric Power Company is examining damage to the reactor's containment vessel, which holds melted nuclear fuel from the 2011 accident. The water is leaking near a pipe joint that penetrates the containment vessel. A robot camera image shows a black area on the brown pipe. The leak point is above a donut-shaped unit called a suppression chamber. A robot survey detected flows of contaminated water last November. The chamber is in the lower part of the containment vessel. Utility officials believe water from the damaged pipe is flowing to the lower part of the vessel. They say th they will study ways to stop the leak. TEPCO plans to remove the melted nuclear fuel after plugging the leaks and filling the vessels with water. This would serve as a shield against radiation. A water leak has also been found in the containment vessel of the number three reactor. Officials say they will now investigate the suppression chamber and other parts of the number two reactor. Central government leaders are asking two towns in Fukushima Prefecture for permission to build intermediate storage facilities for highly radioactive waste. The towns of Futaba and Okuma are located near the damaged Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. Environment Minister Nobutero Ishihara met the mayors of the towns ahead of a public briefing for residents. Fukushima Prefecture and other local authorities requested the government establish legal measures to remove the waste from the prefecture within 30 years. The waste would be moved to final disposal sites. Ishihara said the government will fulfill the request by establishing a state corporation to manage the facilities. The minister said opinions of local residents will be considered when dismantling the facilities. He said dismantling would be part of the region's recovery and development. We haven't ironed out the differences. It's true, we still need to review various points. These will be discussed going forward. We will have a public briefing, but this will not be an occasion for local residents to say yes or no to the plants. The government hopes to begin shipping nuclear waste to the towns in January next year.
sweat and blood Cause I got my ukulele I know where I belong And tomorrow I will write another song Set the spark, you stoke the fire, and then you act surprised When the flames go up, when the barn comes down right there before your eyes Oh, the tools that you manipulate are more powerful each day And they will overcome you, they'll crush you and take from you All the marrow and the sinew of your ideology But don't get upset, don't be like that it's your own damn fault That your flock is ready to fight It is too late To turn around Turn them all to salt No, your monsters come to life Oh Well, rocks are thrown and voices used To tear down the innocent People will die with ideas cast in rebar stoked cement Oh, the words you shout has moved the herd to break free from their cage To drop bombs on all the weaklings, retching, melting